hey, 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 on Instagram, and also Curious Cow, which if you don't know what that is, it's, it's a, it's a stan, start over, okay, hey, today's video was very likely to shatter my ego and my self-esteem, but that's fine. On Instagram, the little question thing, and also on Curious Cow, which if you don't know what that is, it's like ask. Dot .fm. Like, if you're past sixth grade, you probably know what that is. It's basically a place where people can ask you questions anonymously. I asked you guys to give me, like, assumptions that you have about me. I don't know why. I saw someone else do this. I can't remember what- I can't remember who exactly it was, so I'll leave that video down below. Sorry, person that invented this. I literally have short-term memory loss, and I can't remember who did it. I'm going to read some assumptions that you guys have about me and just, you know, clear some things up. <laughs> some of these were very interesting and a little bit concerning, so, um, let's just get started. So, like I said, Curious Cat is totally anonymous, so people can be very harsh, you know? First one, we go to school together, and whenever I see you in the halls, you look so sad. Are you doing okay? Thank you for being concerned. I am fine. I just have they ask you how you are and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine But you just can't get into it because they would never I'm fine. Thank you <laughs> next one You low-key have an eating disorder. No, I don't even have to explain myself. No, <laughs> that's just not true You want your long hair back very true. I literally despise my hair. I think it's so just not good. Actually, I shouldn't say that. I'm grateful to actually like have the hair that I have. But yeah, I really miss my long hair. So there you go. A lot of guys probably hate on you. No. You're rich and popular at school. No. That you are conceited. I love you and you are so gorgeous, but you seem so prideful at times. I have come a very long way with self-love and being able to appreciate myself and how I am physically and mentally. Sure, call me conceited if you want, but I think calling myself cute every once in a while is fine and it's not a bad thing. Don't put other people down for being confident in themselves. That just makes you look bad and it reflects on your insecurities. So don't do that. Let people be happy with how they look physically. And let people be happy with how they are. Because you never know. I literally, okay, <laughs> getting deep. I literally used to despise myself. Oops. I was not happy with my appearance or my looks or my mental state or just my way of thinking or literally anything. I've come a long way, so let me enjoy it, okay? I assume that your family is really rich and you're always happy. No and no. And am I always happy? Moving on. You, <laughs> you wish you went to the dope Fiji trip. Absolutely not. <laughs> You shop a lot, kind of. I online shop a lot, but I hate I hate going out and shopping. It's like one of my least favorite things. I wish I liked shopping. It drains the soul out of me. I feel bad asking, but did your ex cheat on you? No, I think you're bitchy. Maybe. I got a lot of assumptions that I smoke weed. Do I give vibes of a pothead? No, I've never smoked weed in my whole life. I've never drank, I've never vaped. I've never even hit a jewel. No, no, I'm not into that kind of stuff. It's just not really my thing. You really want a boyfriend slash girlfriend? Actually, no. I feel like I've literally answered no to all of these. It's honestly crazy how much people like assume things about you. I know so many people that have like an online presence that are so different in real life. Like it's almost concerning. So it's crazy to see like what people actually assume about me. I'm so happy being single right now. Like it's great. I heard that you hate Emma Chamberlain. I doubt it's true, but <laughs> from who? <laughs> who would you have even heard that from? That's funny. No. Are you Mormon? No. Are you LDS? No. A little bit foolish. Let me tell you. Yes. Yeah. You know, you live and you learn and you grow and you learn new things. And that's what being a teenager and just a person, in my opinion, is just, that's just what life is all about, is just learning and growing. And you gotta, you gotta make mistakes. You gotta mess up to write your story. <laughs> Mess up to write my story. People in my school say you are a smoker. Is this true? Do you go to my school? Because how would people in your school even know who I am? But I already said this, but no. <laughs> You've had your heart broken. Definitely. I would say I've had my heart broken only once. And I would say that was about a year ago. Maybe I'll do like a whole story time on that one time. If you've been around for a hot minute, you know I've already done a story time on it. And then it kind of had a, a lot of backlash in a weird way. So then it's, I took it down. It's on private. No one can see it. Yeah, that was, that was a weird time in my life. Maybe maybe I'll maybe I'll redo that because I'm actually over it now I'm not heartbroken from it anymore. So maybe that would be interesting that you're always either sad or high AF Why do so many people think I'm a stoner? I'm not but if you are that's fine. Just be safe That's all I ask I also got a lot of things of people assuming that I'm really popular just because I have like somewhat of an online presence Does not mean that it carries over into school I feel like being popular has like a weird negative connotation like if a lot of people know who you are That's great. Why is that like a weird bad thing? Someone's at my A door. Hold on. <laughs> this next one says, you're low-key fake. <laughs> Am I fake? I don't know, are you? Oh, I don't know. 
Am I? I don't think so. You're, you seem obsessed with your own appearance, but not in a confident way, in a vain way. You got bullied as a kid. No, I did not. Do I seem like I got bullied as a kid? I did not get bullied as a kid. You are kind of different and not as fun after your breakup. Why is that so funny? Am I not as fun? I think I'm fun. Ish. You don't look like the kind of person to have fun. I have fun. Why do people think I'm not fun? So that was the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't judge books by their cover. Don't assume things about people that you don't know because you don't know them. Also, just remember that everyone that you see on the internet, you're just seeing them on the internet. You're not seeing them off camera or what they're actually like, IRL. Thanks for watching. Hope this was somewhat entertaining and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Mwah. All, all I am is a man. I want, I want the world in my hands. I hate, I hate the beach, but, but I stand.